A U.S. Navy SEAL is awaiting a sentence for his part in the hazing death of a Green Beret in Africa. Today in Norfolk, Adam Matthews pleaded guilty to hazing and assault charges. Meanwhile, more serious charges are dropped, including felony murder. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee sat in for the testimony and has more. Chief Special Operator Adam Matthews pled guilty to four of the six charges against him, including hazing, obstruction of justice, housebreaking, and assault. Today in court, he apologized and said he wants to bring closure to everybody he's hurt. The night of the killing, Matthews said two Marines felt slighted after Melgar abandoned them on the way to a party at the U.S. Embassy in Mali, exacerbating existing tension among fellow troops. In order to get back at him, Matthews said the Marines enlisted the help of he and another member of Naval Special Warfare Development Group, commonly known as SEAL Team 6. The four broke into Melgar's room with a sledgehammer, put him into a chokehold, and bound him with duct tape. They wanted to videotape it to embarrass Melgar in order to, quote, remediate him. Instead, Melgar died of asphyxiation. Ten witnesses took the stand today, including Melgar's mother, who said Matthews brought disgrace to the Purple Heart he earned. Melgar's wife said she forgave Matthews for finally telling the truth about what really happened the night her husband died. Matthews' friends and colleagues defended him, testifying he was intelligent, humble, and a hero. Matthews then went before a judge and said he is tormented by what happened and takes full responsibility for his actions. Matthews said he is accepting the invitation to meet with Melgar's wife after this is all over. In Norfolk, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now.